Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. <clears throat> Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 5th of May, that does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment so i hope you guys are doing well um <laughs> i'm here again and i am i am doing the best that i can to pull this up for us to to show up for us so um something that has been stuck in my head uh somebody left a comment yesterday um on yesterday's reading and it's been something that I've been thinking about today um, and it's falling right in line with you know everything right so there's been a lack of motivation a lot um, I know for me I'm I'm going through like this major transformation and um, I've been trying to finding it hard to find the motivation to do damn near anything right and somebody mentioned that in the comments yesterday and I was thinking about that today as I was getting ready because I woke up um, and I was like just like yesterday I was like okay well should you know I feel like I should be doing something I should be doing morning coffee or something like that but I just didn't feel it didn't feel right I, I'm having trouble I'm still feeling a little foggy I'm feeling like I'm not necessarily connected but that's all for me personally, that's all part of this transformative process that I'm going through right now, which is big, it's major, and it's not gonna happen overnight. Like this is going to be, this is going to happen over the next few months for me. But so what I did today was I just, I got up and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna move my body a little bit. I'm gonna do a little bit of yoga, try and get some of this stagnant energy moving around. I'm gonna take a shower and I'm just going to get with it. And as I did those little things, as I took those little steps, I got up, I moved a little bit, I, I showered first thing, you know, I didn't wait until later on in the day. Like I, I started my day with like a nice refreshing shower. I, I did some yoga. I made myself some coffee. I meditated a little bit. Even meditation for me lately has been a complete and total struggle because it's just like either a bunch of memories coming up or it's just like static, you know, and it, it doesn't, it just doesn't feel right. But so I understand how, um, you know, the, 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 the lack of motivation is there. It's really hard to get motivated right now. But keep in mind, understand that you don't have to be doing a whole lot right now. OK, um, you're not even really for the most of us, you're not even really at full capacity to be able to do all the plethora of things that we would do or during our day, right? Keeping us busy, says spirit. So do little bits, you know, if if you don't really feel like doing too much, then don't do too much. Do a little, like, move your body a little bit, you know, do, do, uh, do something to, to try and lift your spirits or whatnot. But please, 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 guys, do not push yourselves right now, okay? Please don't push yourselves. I'm learning that hard lesson for myself too. I mean, it's the beginning of May, technically, by my own standards, I should have the monthly readings out by now. I haven't even started them yet, you guys. <laughs> like, be easy with yourselves, okay? All right. I mean, with that said, I'm going to, you know, try to get them started at some point. But I have to go with my own flow, just like you guys have to go with your own flow, just like we all have to go with the flow of the energies that are within the collective right now, okay? All right, cool. So with that said, let's get into this daily message here. Wait, hold on. So sorry. So sorry. I got to pause for a second. Okay, let's get to it. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. Whew. 
Thank you so much, Spirit. Oh, I do want to say, and I'm so sorry, but I forgot to say this yesterday, but May the 4th be with you. Yes, that was yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then today, happy Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. I have never, I have always been confused as to what that, what Cinco de Mayo uh, celebrates. But if you celebrate it, happy Cinco de Mayo to you. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's get into this, guys. Let's see what we've got. For the collective, collective channeling. So I'm gonna give this three shuffles. One for the collective. Tuesday, May 5th, 2020. I will say, you guys, after doing like that, that, that little, that mini yoga session, just stretching, getting my body moving a little bit, I feel so much better already. Um, and maybe that's something that I've needed to do for a while. I just haven't been up for it. But today, I, I kind of just was like, all right, Eric, get up and do something. <laughs> you know what I mean? My days have just have just become a big blur lately, and I didn't want that to happen. Like, I was starting to get frustrated with that. Like, there was one point where I would wake up in the morning, and I'd be like, okay, well, what am I going to do today? I don't know. Nothing, really. Okay, that sounds great. Let's continue. But now, it's getting to the point where it's like, okay, we can't do this forever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like, let's do something. But still, go easy on yourselves, please. Spirit keeps saying that. Please go easy on yourselves right now. There is no rush. There is no, there, there is no ridiculous deadline that you have to meet. Like, we're shifting. And I've been, I've been working with a very good friend um, lately. Her name is Carolyn. I'm sure you guys know of her. You've seen her around. She, she's been watching Morning Coffee for a while. She posts a lot of great stuff in the comments and all that. She's... She's, she's a very dear friend and she's been helping me a lot lately. And the main message has just been go with the flow. Do not push yourselves. We're moving into, we're literally at this point, we're in the process of shifting from 3D to 5D. So all of the 3D programming, all of that hustle, the grind, the, the, the lack mentality spirit is even saying all of the, the impetus to hustle the way we have always hustled in the past stems from lack mentality and all of that is falling away when we get in as we move into this fifth dimensional reality the energy is so very different it is no longer about hustling it is 100 percent about alignment and it may seem counterproductive it may seem counterintuitive but these moments where you might feel stuck or you might feel stagnant or at least that's the way it per you perceive it that's the way it seems on the surface it's actually a moment of reacclimation it's a moment of realignment so that's why the message is go easy on yourselves okay go with the flow you don't have to rush anything it's about alignment now you guys okay so this is a this is where we really need to pull on our our um training when it comes to alignment yeah this is hey this is it's go time it's go time kids four of cups okay with the ace of cups oh that is so very interesting look at this okay i'm definitely gonna pull more i don't even want to look at the bottom of the deck yet but how so far is the four of cups with the ace of cups okay now interestingly enough the thing the thing that i find interesting about this is that the four of cups is usually depicted as an individual standing oh wait wrong card sitting somewhere usually under a tree with three cups uh underneath them or like on the ground beneath them and they're kind of just staring at it looking all bored or rejected or dejected or something like that but there is a fourth cup being handed to the individual not in this deck obviously in traditional tarot but there's a fourth cup that's being handed to that person and it can be it can seem as this the, the four of cups can often be an unrequited love energy boredom rejection not wanting to take something that's being handed to you and thus here you go it's come out with that last cup that ace of cups what is this the cup of self-love okay spirit is literally handing us a moment right now to rest and recuperate and get our shit together basically <laughs> is what this feels like and i don't mean that in a derogatory or an offensive way Okay, if anything, I mean it in a, in a, in a lighthearted way. Like, getting our shit together is really what this is about right now. For some of us, 
what this is is this is um bemoaning rejection boredom um kind of looking a gift horse in the mouth but for others of us this four of cups really just feels like contemplation this feels between the four of cups and the ace of cups this is a, this is giving me the question of what am i doing with my life where am i right now what the hell is even going on and what is this random cup that's being handed to me? This doesn't look like self-love, but actually it is. It's self-love from a fifth dimensional point of view. And what does that mean? It means loving yourself unconditionally enough to know that when you need to rest and relax, when you need to take a break, when you need to disconnect, you are more than welcome, even encouraged to do so. And that's part of what spirit, what my guides were saying to me while I was doing my, my, my yoga and meditation this morning they were saying to me look eric if you don't want to do anything then don't do anything you don't have to force yourself and it's like guys i can't i can't just not be around people need help and it's like yeah okay but you need to help yourself too <laughs> you know you've got to let yourself be free enough and you have to love yourself unconditionally enough to know that when you need a break you need a break and if there are people that are that and, and look not to say that any of you have been any any less than 100 percent supportive i am so appreciative to all of you for being so supportive we're all in this together but if but regardless of whether i had that support within you guys or not 11 11 the message is even if people don't like it, even if people are like, well, what the hell do you think you're doing? Like, you can't just disappear like that. Um, actually, yes, I can. And yes, you can too. I'm not, I'm, uh, please, please understand. I'm not trying to be snarky or come for anybody. Nobody has been, has been, you all have been so incredibly supportive and I am really appreciative of that. But that's, that's the message here. And that's kind of what I feel like is happening for a lot, for some of us, we're still kind of looking the gift horse in the mouth at this point. I don't even know why that's a saying. Can someone please explain to me why that's a saying? But anyway, basically giving up an opportunity to rest and heal and recuperate. Okay. But ultimately the big question with this is what am I doing with my life? Let's keep going. Six of Swords. Well, you're moving. The King of Pentacles. Wow. I'm going to get one more card, please, Spirit, for today's reading. Look at that, you guys. We got two more cards, but that's okay. At the bottom of the deck is the Fool. Oh, two, two, two. Look at that. The bottom of the deck is the Fool. In this deck, it's, the, it's called the Dreamer. But then... The last two cards that fell out were the Wheel of Fortune and Death. What are you doing with your life? You're going through a transformation, and it is changing some shit up. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune right now, in this energy, in this climate, the Wheel of Fortune feels like a mass reacclimation, like huge, like big time on a grand, grand scale. And it's so much so, it's such a reorganization of energy, a realignment of energy, a reassessment even, I guess, if you want to call it, that it feels like everything just needs to stop. You can't continue doing the things the same way that you were before because the energies are not the same. This is a big, massive transformation. But the, the look, the big, and this is this is a message that Spirit is really eager to get toward, to get to all of us right now. The reason why this is happening is because we are much more solid, stable, and grounded within ourselves than we ever were in the past. This King of Pentacles energy feels like that boulder or that mountain that just cannot be moved, cannot be shaken, cannot be disturbed. That I don't mean that in a bad way. In this sense, this is perfect. This is exactly what we need. Why? Because of all the chaos and madness and change that is around us, the Wheel of Fortune and Release. You might feel like you're not handling this very well, but let me tell you, with this King of Pentacles energy, you are handling this way more than you ever thought you would have been capable of but it doesn't look that way it doesn't feel like that because things are so different that's why you have okay okay that's it now this makes a lot more sense four of cups this four of cups energy is us sitting here working on keeping our emotions balanced grounded and stable but feeling lost feeling out of place feeling out of sorts not necessarily feeling our like ourselves any longer but that's because 
we're not the same people that we used to be, nor are we, are we meant to remain that same person. We are literally in the process of moving from one state of being to another, death or in this case, this is called release, literally transitioning from one state of being into another. So there is going to be an interim process where it just everything just feels weird, out of sorts, not like it usually does. Who am I even? Am I even alive? Do I even exist? What is this face looking back at me in the mirror? I don't recognize you. You're not the person that I've come to know over the last, in my case, 33 years. Like what the hell? what the actual hell is going on <laughs> but it's it's more of a just kind of like a hazy lucid loosey goosey like okay well i'm just gonna i'm just gonna let the universe push me this isn't a situation where it's like a well it might be but it doesn't seem like on a grand scale it doesn't seem like it's like a heavy holy shit stop everything my life is come is, is upside down what the actual fuck is going on it's, it doesn't feel like that it just feels like this ooh, this hazy just like whatever spirit you take me wherever i'm meant to go but you have the wherewithal 555 five, five, you have the wherewithal to deal with this to handle this to be solid and grounded and stay secure while you are making going through this transition Interestingly enough, um, the words, the meanings, the definitions on this card are popping out. I don't know if this is going to resonate with anyone. I was pulling from, you know, my intuition, but now I'm being pulled to the, the words on the card. So the King of Pentacles says, compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, gifted. You are, in fact, accomplished. accomplished. You have accomplished a hell of a lot, a great deal over these last two to three years. But you don't recognize it. You don't see it because you're not that person any longer. So what you're looking at is like, well, this isn't anything new. This isn't anything strange. This is par for the course. So that, But that's kind of why you're in this Four of Cups energy. Like, I don't understand what's going on. Everything is hazy. This doesn't make sense. You're not the same person. Okay? You're making a big transition. Six of Swords. All right? Oh, and then the dreamer at the bottom of the deck, which is the fool, says, embrace tr uh, your true purpose. Begin a new adventure. Trust yourself. We are, in fact, beginning a brand new adventure, guys. Hey, adventure time. Ew. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. So um, what I want to look at, I want to start clarifying a little bit. I want to look at the Wheel of Fortune here. Let's clarify this a little bit. I I, I just want to, I don't know. I want to look into what this energy is for us. All right. So we're going to start with the Wheel of Fortune and see what that has to say for us. All right, Spirit, what is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Hanged Man with the Devil. Wow. All right. So look, you guys, this is, whoa, this is great. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Hierophant. Ooh. Oh, shoot. All right. Um, okay. So with the overall energy being the Hierophant here, um, this is giving me, let me, I'm not going to lie. This is, this has been a really tough lesson. This has been, uh, I mean, I, I just, what I feel from the, the Hierophant right now is first of all, this is energy that you're out of. Okay. You're not in this energy any longer, but I'm feeling a strong sense of conformity, confinement, um, restriction, rules, regulations, uh, societal norms, um, and all that shit, right? But that has been the lesson that you needed to learn. That, and also what I'm getting here is teaching and learning, okay? But, but, but from a very three-dimensional point of view. With the Wheel of Fortune here, what this is talking about for us, this big change, this massive change that's happening, is there has been a massive change in perspective in terms of confinement, attachment, codependency, toxicity, patriarchy, uh, like uh, our old, outdated, toxic, twisted, patriarchal energies. What I'm feeling with this and what the Wheel of Fortune is speaking to here for us as a collective, what this is saying is like we've basically let go. 
We've let go of the wheel. We've let go of the attachment. We've let go of the chains um, of conformity. We have a much different perspective here and we are moving towards something that's better, okay? But I still just feel like we're in this moment right now where it's like, okay, say you, you've been riding the ride of the Hierophant here, okay? Riding the ride of the Hierophant. And everything that the Hierophant has been showing you, teaching you, indoctrinating you towards and all that good stuff, right? But then you reach, you started to realize and you started to wake up and then you woke up sufficiently enough to actually release let go of holding on, let go of the conformity. But in that moment that you let go, it's like you're, you're free flowing, you're, you're floating, you, you're, you're in this initial release stage where it's like, it's shocking because it's like, oh my God, I, I, I actually let go. Oh my God, I let go. Now what's gonna happen? Oh my God, I'm drifting further and further away. What's gonna happen? Where am I gonna go? Where am I gonna end up? And, but then all of a sudden you're just kind of like, you know what? I don't really care. This is kind of cool. Or this is kind of weird. I don't really know where I am anymore. Who am I even? What the hell is going on? See, you're in that initial stage of release. Okay. Death, transformation. And at, now that you've let go, and now that you're pull, literally pulling your energy away from this devilish energy, right? From the toxicity, the codependency and all that, you have, you're in a little bit of a period where your energy needs to kind of take some time to come back to you, reacclimate so that you can settle in to the next phase. You're still this king of pentacles. Don't get me wrong. You're still solid, grounded, stable, and secure, okay? But you're in this process of standing on your own being your own pillar of strength and settling into the new of your life. Okay. All right. So with that said, then let's talk about release or death. Okay. Here we go. What is death here? All right. Well, the high priestess just flashed me. We have the eight of wands. Oh my God. Do you guys see that? The Wheel of Fortune just popped out again, but it's now fallen. Okay, 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 okay. We're talking a little bit more. All right, Ace of Cups, the Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune did pop out, but then we have that with the Five of Swords. The Knight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So the Knight of Wands is speaking to your activation. Now this activation energy with the Knight of Wands, initially the first feeling I got from it, it's it's quite defiant. 22, 22 on the counter. I've been seeing... 222 so much lately, you guys, it's ridiculous. And 144. Anyway, um, this Knight of Wands activation, uh, activation or feeling, uh, oh my God, the energy of the Knight of Wands feels defiant in terms of, or when it comes to, or when it's facing the Hierophant. But the Hierophant is in your past. The Hierophant is your past life, your past circumstances. You're no longer under that control any longer. Why? This is when we're talking about death here. Okay, what is dying away? What is being released? Well, you found self-love, Ace of Cups. You found, you went within. You found a, a, at least a sufficient sense of your own inner light to allow that to shine forward. Okay, because of that now, big change is happening. Here's that Wheel of Fortune again in terms of self or self-sabotage, yes, or competition, sabotage of others beating people down to remain in control, to remain on top, to remain in power, to remain holding the bag at the expense of everyone else. When you don't even realize whether it's at the expense of everyone else, it's also at the expense of your own self, right? But see, we've learned that lesson. We're changing that because we found our inner light. We've gone within. We found enough of a sense of self-love to do what? Let go. And now because of that, we have free and open space to cl just clear, clear and open space to make moves. And what spirit is kind of saying here is you've, that has always been the situation. As soon as you let go, your space would be clear or would be in the process of being cleared out. Okay. If it didn't clear out instantly, right. Um, in order for you to move forward literally clearing away all the toxic energy 
changing the game, changing the karma. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune has come out twice here. And and I'm the Wheel of Fortune feels like an, a, a, a huge amount of uncertainty. Why? Because we're literally playing roulette with the, with the universe right now. It's not Russian roulette. Okay, that's great. Um, and it's not like the wheel, this wheel of karma is full of a bunch of negative, toxic, destructive things. No, you've done a lot of work to clear out that energy for yourself. So for the most part, what's coming towards you is some really good shit, but you don't really know what that is right now because you're still kind of in this haze. It's like this, we're still in that moment. If you can think of it this way, because time is an illusion, right? So take, take a scene, you're standing at a roulette table. Yeah, you have your whole life, the, 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 the next phase of your life is gonna come from one of the spots on this wheel. And it's all filled with a lot of good stuff because you've been doing a lot of work for yourself right now, right? Okay, fine. But you're still kind of in this hazy phase because you just let go of the, of the, the karma and all the bullshit, right? Okay, cool. So the person working the table, we'll call it the universe, right? Is standing there and you're watching them reach down and spin the wheel, right? But they normally, they'll do it in real time. You reach down, whoop, okay, now it's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning, but slow it down a little bit. Okay, go slow-mo. You just released your hands and now the person working at the table is reaching and they're spinning. It's in slow-mo, right? When you zoom out, when you look at it from a higher perspective, from we'll say maybe a fifth dimensional perspective, but here, okay, so so it's happening in real time. It's happening faster, but I'm sorry, I said that wrong. When you're focused here, it's happening in slow mo. But when you zoom out to say that fifth dimensional perspective, that's when it's happening in real time. Okay, but time is an illusion. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. There are some of you that are gonna get that. All right, but that's why it feels like things are just hazy up in the air right now because the wheel has just been spun it's just been turned and now you're watching it spin 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 and you gotta wait for a little bit for it to slow down and for it to land somewhere makes sense that's the version of roulette that we're playing here nothing bad <laughs> okay um mm. last thing i want to look at in this section is the king of pentacles so what is this king of pentacles for us what do you want to tell us about this king of pentacles energy spirit page of swords oh no oh no oh goodness gracious we have the page of swords the lovers and the strength in reverse all right so um six of pentacles okay uh, there are, we're talking, we could be talking to people here. First of all, this King of Pentacles could very well be you. And it's interestingly enough that I've, that this has come out this way, because what I've been speaking to is how you're grounded, you're stable, you're ready to go, you're on your own path, you're doing the right thing. But you're coming out as the, with, um, strength in reverse, Okay, so there's fear, there's lack of strength, inability to move forward. Okay, um, Page of Swords and the Lovers. The Lovers is a, is can be a choice. It's the choice that you've made. I'm kind of getting this energy of you sitting in this King of Pentacles grounded energy, right? But not feeling like you have the strength to move forward right now. Keeping your eyes open for a chance or an opportunity to move forward in what it is you really truly want to be doing. The lovers for my, for me in, in, as a reader is a choice between vice or virtue, okay? Virtue being what other people want, vice, I'm sorry, vice being what other people want, virtue being what your own heart desires. And it seems that you're in this space of not feeling strong enough to move forward yet keeping your eyes peeled for the right moment to move forward or the right time to move forward or the right feeling or energy, okay? Now, this King of Pentacles could also be someone else. And now that I've looked even deeper into what the King of Pentacles is, it's kind of changed the whole scope of the reading. Not the whole scope, but it's changed a little bit of the narrative because now this King of Pentacles is looking like your counterpart. 
who's watching you from afar or a counterpart of someone's who's watching them from the from afar wanting to reach out but not feeling the strength to do so strength in reverse literally i i kind of feel like what i'm picking up on here is this person is watching you move on okay because you have the four oh, okay you or someone this person is watching someone else their counterpart the person that they really truly love um have a deep strong connection with but y'all aren't talking y'all are not on speaking terms there's rejection here this person feels rejected four of cups even though now all of a sudden they either want to give you a cup of love or they're feeling this this cup of love that they never felt before. And it could have been the fact that they didn't feel this love, Ace of Cups, they didn't have this sense of self-love or maybe this awareness of how much they truly love you in the past, but now they do. And the circumstances had to happen this way for, they to, for them to get it. But now someone is moving on, Six of Swords. So there's this feeling of rejection. There's this feeling of unrequited love. There's this feeling like I want to I want to give you something, but I can't anymore. Now there's a desire for reciprocity. Now they see Six of Pentacles that the, actually the situation was balanced all along and they just weren't giving quite enough. But now they want to give, but they're, they don't feel strong enough. Let's look at this. Why is the sick? Why is um strength in reverse here, spirit? Four of Pentacles. <sighs> comfort zone. They don't want to move out of their comfort zone. And what I'm hearing is they see you moving on. So it's like, well, why should I change anything now? There's no point. There's no use. <laughs> oh, God. But then there's that Knight of Pentacles. Our favorite, our best friend, that Knight of Pentacles is right there at the bottom of the deck. The, the, there's some sort of assurance here. The Knight of Pentacles is bringing some sort of assurance that things are going to work out in the long run. It may look this way right now, but ultimately things are going to work out in the long run, whether you end up with someone else or not. Now, also, the King of Pentacles can also represent for this individual here who is in this, un, who's, who's actually feeling the effects of this unrequited love energy. This King of Pentacles energy is them being grounded, grounded, stable, rooted, stubborn, not wanting to budge, not wanting to look at themselves, not wanting to change anything, feeling like they don't need to change anything, or maybe even feeling like they can't. They've come to this point now. It is what it is. They can't change it. So they just got to move on. I don't know where that's going to lead anybody. I don't. And I'm not trying to look into that. That's that's a topic for another time, but okay. Alrighty. Let's close this out. Um, I want to get a closing message from the Tarot, from Spirit, uh, for this. Overall guidance to close this out. And then we're going to get our um, Oracle message. And I want to use the Earth Warriors Oracle again today, yeah? Okay. Honestly, you guys, I know that I just spoke towards what some sort of unrequited love situation, but I really don't even want you guys to focus on that. Like, I almost kind of feel bad that I, I even mentioned it, but it was coming up, so I needed to mention it. It's part of the reading. It's part of the circumstance. So I had to say something about it, but now I, I'm kind of in this energy of, God, I never even wish, I wish I hadn't even mentioned that because I don't want to, I don't want anyone to start getting, to start slipping back into that energy. You've done too much work already. You're on your way. You're moving on. Six of Swords. I mean, you're moving on. You've released, you've let go of the toxicity. You've let go of the wheel, the wheel of karma. So whatever is going on with this person back here, that really is not business and i don't mean that in a mean or derogatory or offensive way i'm just saying like that has nothing to do with you so why even discuss it you know what i mean but it came up so spirit wanted me to say it so all right closing message do you have closing guidance from the tarot here please spirit oh All right. 
Bear with me, guys. I believe something has flipped over here. Yes, Seven of Pentacles. Mm. All right, overall energy, we have the Queen of Cups. Okay. Um, what I'm getting with the Queen of Cups is there is a need for compassion and understanding. We have the King of Wands with the Five of Wands in reverse, the Six of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Wands upright, the Seven of Pentacles upright, the Six of Pentacles upright, the Seven of Swords upright, and the Sun. All right. So... This is two people. One person here is represented by the King of Wands, and it's most likely this individual that is, like, wanting to reach out but feeling like they can't, not feeling strong enough. Lack of self-confidence, lots and lots of fear. Lack of strength. It also could be you. If you're feeling, if you're in the energy of, well, actually, I'm trying to move forward with something, but... I'm not feeling strong enough. I don't feel like I have the energy here. I'm looking for a time, a place, the energy to do so. King of Wands, Five of Wands, Six of Wands, uh, Knight of Wands. So, first thing I want to say, with the individual that's watching from afar that's like, I don't feel strong enough to, to reach out to someone, it seems like they're staying in their own... They may be staying in their, their, their insecure and immature ways. Quite frankly, for this person here, this masculine energy, this masculine individual, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. This is the cycle that has been keeping them in this Knight of Wands, fuck boy, fuck girl type energy. A vicious cycle over and over again of failure and loss, failure and loss, failure and loss, and needing to feed the ego to feel better. But what they're not realizing, or maybe this is you, what you're not realizing is the more you feed your ego in this way, the more you achieve this failure and loss. You have to break the cycle. This person has to break the cycle. There's another person on the other side here with the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Sun. You have, this person here has learned the lesson and has broken the cycle, has released themselves, has, has received the clarity, the truth, the aha moment, if you will, to recognize the deception and the lack of reciprocity. So, lesson learned. We're not going to harvest this any longer. Now, for those of you that are re resonating with the King of Wands in the energy of, I'm just trying to move forward with my life goals, but I don't feel strong enough just yet, keep moving. Knight of Wands, keep moving. Keep your focus on your activation. Keep your focus on your truth, your light, your honesty, how you want to show up in the world. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck is if you're lacking any sort of emotional stability right now, that needs to be your focus. Regaining, reclaiming that emotional sense of um, that sense of emotional stability. Okay. Let me move this here so you guys can see it. Yeah? Cool. Oops. Dest I'm destroying things over here, you guys. Hold on a second. Oh, 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 goodness. Oh, gosh. Oh, gracious. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're good. So let's close this out now. Let's get our Oracle Guidance here. From the Earth Warriors. <sighs> okay. Closing Guidance. Alrighty, closing guidance please, Spirit for the Collective. 
Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I don't even really like talking about this this stuff anymore. This um, this unrequited love, the 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 counterpart situation. It, it it. I've been reading for that for over two years now, and the story just has not changed. <laughs> So like whenever that I, I apologize if I understand not everyone is we're all at different stages in the journey Whether you find yourself on a twin flame journey or not. It doesn't matter. We're all in different stages But like at the, I apologize for my own animosity coming out here, but I just It's like that message is so old and outdated at least in my opinion, but whatever. I'm just venting don't don't mind me Let's get our closing message. Oh, there it is all right, card number 26, Amaru, the beautiful place. I just love this deck so much, you guys. Okay. Okay, here we go. Amaru, your dreams have a more beautiful world. I'm sorry, your dreams of a more beautiful world are not a product of childish fantasy nor idle imagination. They are true spiritual visions inspired by the universal heart that yearns for divine paradise to be manifested in all worlds. You have a life purpose to assist in the creation of divine harmony in the world through sacred activation and the expression of your soul talents. Believe that the beautiful world you long for is not only possible, but part of your spiritual responsibility to create. In a reading, this card says, don't be scared to face a problem head on. You don't need to be willful about a solution, but in facing the issues, you shall simplify the complexity and recognize the practical steps that will create healing change. Keep your mind and heart open as you ask for unconditionally loving guidance as to how you how you best as, excuse me as to how you best evoke divine healing in any situation. There is an outcome available to you that is far more beautiful and divinely inspired than what you can currently envision. Ask for divine help and trust unconditionally in the assistance that will lead you away from the limitations of your current thinking into the perfection of what the divine wishes for you and our world. Beautiful. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee. We'll just go ahead and say tomorrow morning. Yeah? <laughs> Take care. Bye.